Join us once again right now with our pet of the week from the Maryland SPCA is our own Aileen Gaby. Thank you for the time. And you were tackled when you came in the <laughs> newsroom today. Well, rightfully so. This is probably one of the cutest puppies we've ever seen. This is Tinker, who is up for adoption at the Maryland SPCA. Look at that face. Yellow lab, adorable, great. I mean, we say this about all the dogs from the SPCA, great personality. He kind of stands out a little bit, though. You know, he's got a, a fun personality. I think puppies can be a handful, and, and he'll have a lot of energy. But he's really happy, he loves people, he likes to play. He's a great puppy. Okay, this is a, this is a yellow lab. I mean, this appears to be a purebred. <laughs> I'm talking about you, big guy. This appears to be a purebred. How did you guys end up with eight weeks old? Yes, yeah, so we do go to other shelters, mm -hmm. and so that's where he came from. So now we're looking to find him a home. All right, now one of the things that comes is every... I'm, but don't look at me like that. Don't look at me with that tone. One of the things that always comes with dogs like this, and people say they're cute, they're adorable, and you are cute and adorable, but they come with some possible problems, labs especially when it comes to chewing, don't they? You know, a lot of puppies can chew, and you were talking about your experience with labs who, who chew, and I've noticed that this particular puppy does like to be a little mouthy. So we were practicing this on the car ride up, so he would chew a little bit on my hand, and I would make a funny noise. He stopped when he kissed me. Good puppy! I would praise him, and he's learning the distinction. Hands should not be for biting. That can be dangerous, teaches bad habits. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Now watch this. <laughs> I thought he was going to let Good kisses! Go. Kiss. And then make sure he has lots and lots of toys. <laughs> One of the things often associated with Labradors, they're hunting dogs. They're good outdoor dogs, often companions. For those who enjoy enjoy going out, experiencing the outdoors, but you said it a little bit better. You said they like to work. A, a lot of dogs have been bred for a particular purpose, and dogs like to work. So if you can give them a job, and it doesn't have to be not everybody's going to hunt, but you can certainly have him search for things, mm -hmm. which would mimic that. So you can hide maybe his favorite toy or some treats and get him working and feeling like he has a purpose. Expend some of his energy so he doesn't end up chewing your shoes. And of course, at the end of the day, you're the one who's asleep in the floor and he's the one over there still with all the energy in the world. <laughs> An adorable pup. Before we go, though, we had a, a success story last week with Dallas. Oh, yes, of course. Really funny hairdo. Uh, found a good home. We're very happy. Thanks to ABC 2 News. All right. This is Tinker 410-235-8826. If you think he might be just right for you, we are. I guess Lynette's staying here off camera. Lauren's coming here off camera. Here we go. Tinker will be tackled once again. Aileen, thank you for the time. <laughs> thank you.